Today we got a little uh, 99 Azuzu Amigo and somebody tried to do the uh, spray can repair with the fender. You can see that's glossy. I guess you can come you see my hand. There's a, <laughs> their idea of glossy is not glossy glossy but anyways it's glossy and this is flat and you can even smell like sandpaper and they sprayed spray can paint over over into the trim because the trim is supposed to look like that and there has a little crack in it right here that's it so today I'm going to repair the crack sand that uh, silver out and sand that uh, flare out and then um, repaint it. Now, in order to fix the crack, I'm gonna just V it out a little bit because it's it's still together. It's not broken in half. It's just a crack type fracture. Of course, then to count this is a quick repair. This isn't to, to do it right. I'd replace the flare, you know, or I would take it off and glass it from behind and stuff. But like I said, this is a quick repair for somebody that just wants it looking better. Probably will sell. It turns out that uh, when I was looking at it, the uh, front two clips of those two holes you see, kind of the front and the back and the middle there. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. That hole there, and that hole there. Oh, there. Were snap in clips that were broke, so the whole front thing was dangling. So I went ahead and. Plus, they painted the little black rubber seal, so I'll have to clean the paint off of that. So this will make it easier. You can see where I've sanded it. You can see like, like it's got weather cracks and stuff. It's because they didn't prepare this fender correctly. It looks like they might have wiped it down with some grease instead of a cleaner improperly. Then they sprayed it down with some sort of spray can black primer over top of a white fender. Then they sprayed the spray can silver on, which is the one thing that I, I wanted to discuss. That if you, there's a lot of videos out there about spray canning uh, cars. Well, they make some cool spray paints, and they make some even activated um, uh, polyurethane paints in spray cans, but keep in mind that in order to get it out of a spray can, it's got to be thinned down, so it's not going to be a high quality paint. So even if it looks good, you know, for the first week, it's going to deteriorate, and it's going to make it harder for the person who's actually doing the, the repair with real automotive finishings, because... I don't know yet until I spray a primer or something on this, but this could very well just all bubble up like paint remover and have a reaction that's just going to be crap fix because of using junk to, to spray it with. But I'll continue to sand this and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay. So the people that worked on it before are retarded. Should never do dumb body work. I mean, look at this. Instead of sanding it, they ran some sort of grinder over the paint, you know. I, you know, it's sad to say, but all you gotta do is if you're just gonna put a coat of paint on something, scuffy it. Use a abrasive scuffy pad, 3M Scotch Bright pad. Use that and wipe it down good and paint it. Uh, all this extra grinding and all these little swirls of uh, cut marks, and of course, I guess there's an attempt of uh, bad bondo. I'll have to grind that little bit of metal down and then put a little bit of filler over that to get that edge to come back out right. So. So much for the being the quick job, although it's still end up being pretty quick, because this is not a you know it's not a showcase job and and all, but it does need to be done right. And I'll put a coat of primer over this whole fender, and then if it comes out smooth enough, I can just scuff it down. If not, I'll have to block it down. I'll still probably just block it down just to make sure all those uh, scratches are gone. But quick job gone into a little bit over time. Okay, 
I went ahead and filled it and uh, fixed the groove that I cut into it. Got rid of the crack look. And while I was at it, since I already had it off, I went ahead and well, fiberglass the uh, crack from behind to give it some strength. Like I said, I would just replace it if it was a top notch job. I've semi masked it off because all I'm going to do is just uh, spray some primer and not really go hard at it. I put a little filler in that uh, dent and um, I've already prepped it down, wiped it, and it's ready to uh, prime. Okay, I'm going to use a Scotch Bright scuffy pad. This one's a little worn out, but uh, still got some good in. I'm going to uh, scuff it around the edges and stuff. And uh, I've already primed the fender with a, a urethane primer. It's uh, gone on real smooth, but I'm going to hit it with a uh, wet sand it with 400 real quick just to kind of slick down the surface and scuffy all around the edges and stuff. There's no need trying to use sandpaper, so you'll see. Like right there, no reason to uh, use sandpaper. And this doesn't have to be a sand to get it all gone. The whole purpose of this is 400 grit. <clears throat> I'm using a uh, a little spongy thing. I'm not even sure what they're called. Uh, you can get them at the paint stores though. But uh, I use it when I color sand and when I when I'm ever on the curved surfaces and stuff. So that way you don't get a square cuts. Okay, I've sanded the primer. It cut through a little bit in some places. It's not bad. I mean, it's real mild, but uh, it's sanded. I've scuffied that piece. I've got it all masked off. Now it comes a wipe down. Attack it off. And shoot it to it. Oh, and by the way, carpenter bags. You can buy them at Walmart or anywhere. It's fairly inexpensive. I think seven, eight bucks for. See, I think it's 20, 25 bags. Perfect wheel covers. Now, as you can see, it uh, looks pretty close on the match. Uh, customer's happy with it. I'm happy with it. And it looks a whole lot better than a spray can paint.